Hello everyone, hopefully you're having a wonderful day. So, we are playing Dynasty Tactics 1. So this is going to be, hopefully, a whole new playthrough. So, I just finished the second game 100%, completed everything, recruited every single unit. So hopefully I can do the same thing in this game. So, yeah, great nostalgia from my childhood. Uh, 2002, it's been a little while since this game came out. I think it was 2023. But yeah, I'm really, really excited. Hopefully we can do the same thing for this game, complete it 100%. Uh, this is a relatively clean save. I think I do have... Yeah, I did I did start some basic campaigns, just played for a couple minutes, but other than that, it's pretty clean. Uh, we can't go into the history settings and see the different paths, but right now we're just going to start a new game. So, there is no difficulty in this game. It just depends on the scenario and what you have to do. Honestly, a lot of the scenarios in this game are actually harder than the second game, as far as I remember. Especially depending upon the situation, right? So, Liu Bei, uh, balls to the wall, you're fighting all the time, over and over and over. You get very, very powerful very, very quickly, but you are just fighting all the time. Cao Cao, obviously very, very good units, fighting pretty often. Obviously just very, very solid in terms of like choice of units, how many units you get, just power, you know, scaling and all that, just very, very solid. And then you soon say who, yes, of course, you know, builds up his little base in Wu. And it's a little bit more manageable. I, I'd say actually, as an introduction to the game, soon say, I think is what was my first foray into this game, as I seem to recall. But you know what? Let's start off with a bang. It's at the top, so let's start off with Liu Bei. Born on different days, we vow to die the same day and at the same time. May the heavens bear witness to our oath. If we should break faith and forget our vows, may we be punished by the heavens. We shall strive for the restoration of the Han Empire. Traitors beware. You will be destroyed. To this, we pledge our lives. Agreed! In this garden, Liu Bei, Guan Yu, and Zhang Fei set their feet upon the path of destiny. Soon their fame spread throughout the land. Some years after this oath, Liu Bei receives a request for aid from Tao Qian of Xu province, who is being attacked by Cao Cao. Liu Bei hurries to Xu. All right. So, give us an update here. So we obviously have Liu Bei, super duper good LEA unit. We do have Hero, which is unlimited use of LEA tactics above uh, 80 morale. Then we do have Mr. Zhang Fei, who is a menace, unlimited use of strength tactics. Very, very strong unit, very, very high strength. Uh, and then of course, Guan Yu. Uh, we have very, very high strength, might, attack plus 20%. And honestly, yeah, these three units just S tier, best units in the game, honestly or at least some of the best units in the game. And yeah, we're just against uh, Sao Ren's army. Good old Sao Ren. So we have Li Dian, Sao Ren, and Yu Jin. Um, honestly, I might be able to... I wonder if I can recruit all three. In this game, which actually I, I am kind of glad they changed for the second, is that you can actually... You can recruit units. So say, like, even if they're a core unit in Sao Sao's army you actually can recruit them uh, when you capture them. So you just instantly capture them. As long as you capture them, you just get them. Which honestly, for me, I, I don't know. I, I don't necessarily like that because you do end up with, you know, a bunch of filler units from the other factions. Which, you know, it doesn't exactly incentivize switching units up between playthroughs. But, you know, just as an overview, we'll probably get into this in the South South campaign. But yeah, South Ram, super good uh, support unit. Very, very balanced in terms of stats. Uh, Yujin, pretty high strength. Actually, he's pretty solid. 
I don't usually use him, but actually that's that's a pretty good unit. And then we do have, of course, Lee Dian. And actually, he's a lot better in this game than in the other game. It looks like he's more balanced. So definitely a good support unit. Um, let's do that. We are aiming to recruit a couple of units. Okay. So what we're going to do here... Oh, we don't want to do that. We want to do this. Want to kill that unit off before we do anything else. Um, ba -ba -ba. Okay, well that guy's just off and... Oh, no, he didn't even move. Okay, good. We're just gonna, uh, set these up here. We just want to get them a little bit weaker. Oh boy, that's not good. Uh, that actually should be enough to kill. Oh, whoops. I did not mean to link that. There we go. Excuse me if you hear me in the background tapping the the start button to try to skip the animation. I don't even know if it really helps that much, but... Oh, we only got 200 HP. Oh, boy. Oh, he took my tactic! What a jerk! Uh... Jung Fei's gonna actually die here. Oh dear. He might live if I do that. He took my raid. How rude. Mm. Oh no. Okay, so he can he can get there and then we'll aid. Okay. No, we're good. So we're not gonna attack here because he's literally at one HP. This should be enough. Oh yeah, we're good. I just didn't want my units to die here. Slightly suboptimal, but that's okay. All right. <laughs> Reluctantly accepted. Yeah, so, obviously, we could propose an alliance. <laughs> so, a couple different options here. So, obviously, yeah, so we can go and uh, join with Lu Bu and attack Yuan Shu. Or we can uh, fight Lu Bu. So, I think the cannon, the cannon thing is to fight Lu Bu, I'm fairly certain. And that'll lead to, yeah, so basically Lu Bu, or Liu Bei will get kicked out of GAP, and I think that's how that works. Yeah, so Liu Bei will get kicked out of GAP, we'll fight for a bit, and then I think we get kicked off over here to Jing, as far as I remember. But yeah, for now, what we're going to do, Guan Yu needs to go over here. So we're actually going to disband this. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, Guan Yu... So do that. 
Um, I do believe, yeah, Yi Chi is here. I don't think I can get there in time, though. Yeah, I don't think I can get there in time. Um, because what'll happen is that, uh, Liu Biao's unit will come here and recruit this guy, so there's only so much I can do. Obviously, you get Cheng Yu, which is a super duper good unit. Um, yep, Cao Cao. Yeah, so it's basically just recruiting him. Um, I do want Zhao Yun. So Zhao Yun is under uh, Gong Sun Zan. So can't really grab him right now, but uh, I will be able to grab him, so that'll be fun. Um, yeah, so what are, what are the rest of my units going to be doing? I do not know. Maybe what we'll do is we'll do this. Let's just go ahead and move this up here and take this random place. Okay, that should do it. Let's save our game. Uh, override our other Liu Bei one. So as you can see, 195 is usually the super early game. The cool thing about this game is that you can actually see the different factions fighting it out. So instead of the second game, which essentially makes it so that you're in your small little area and you're basically only fighting one person. This actually shows the whole map and the whole context of all of China, which is really, really cool. Uh, Guan Yu failed, I guess. Uh, so you can see, yeah, so Cao Cao's fighting Li Ji over here. So, you know, the remnants of Dong Zhuo's forces. And then you see Sun Se, he's conquering Wu. So they're fighting Liu Yang. And then you do see, yeah, Yuan Chao fighting Gong Sun Zen. And then, yeah, Yuan Shu, I guess, is fighting Zheng Zhu. So, you know, so you can actually see their fiving battles. It, I don't know. I, f I feel it's more immersive, and it just feels very... I don't know. It just, it just feels very good. I don't, I don't, I don't know how, how else to put it. Um, it just feels like you're, you're very in ingrained within the system, and, like, no matter what you're doing, other, other things are going on within China, despite what you're doing or what you're not doing, right? So... You know, so you, for instance, yeah, like you see, like Han Zhong way over here, Li Qi is fighting Cao Cao. Um, yeah, you see, like, yeah, the, basically this big battle here. I don't know, I just find it really cool. Um, Jing Yong, Liu Bei, okay, so that'll grab him. We'll try again with uh, Guan Yu. If I fail this round, I might have to sa uh, reload the save. There's only so much I can do there, but. Um, Li Dian is a very, very good unit, honestly. It's probably worth keeping him around. The one thing about this game that is different as well is that the you don't actually, you can't teach tactics to specific units. They just have the tactics ingrained, right? So for instance, like Liu Bei having all attack aid, boost, like all these support tactics makes him invaluable, right? He's a super duper good support unit. Whereas, you know, you can't make any unit like that. So... Pros and cons, right? So you are forced to use certain units, which in some ways is good, because then you're like, oh, I got this unit, it's really good, it has all these like, great tactics. On the other hand, it, it, it forces you to use them and not to use maybe off-meta. I guess meta is not really the word, but it may, maybe things that are suboptimal. So in, in my Dynasty Tactics 2 campaign, I was using units that... You know, like, so for, I was using, like, Hung Zhu or something from uh, Liu Biao, or I was using Sai Mao from Liu Biao, which are units that, you know, you wouldn't probably use in this game, just because those units don't have very good tactics, even if they do have decent stats. So, I don't know, pros and cons to both systems. I can understand from a game design standpoint why they made some of the changes, but it's just a different feel, right? So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. So, uh, that... That's my rant. That's what I'm saying. Okay, good. I didn't get caught. So, obviously, Liu Yong is done. We are going to grab everybody I can. Go Guan Yu over here. Sai Bao. Or, yeah, Sai Bao. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Could go Spearman. Yeah, that's fine. Not that we really have a choice of a lot of tactics here anyway, but... Ugh. Yeah, being level 2 sucks. I wish I could go attack Kong wrong. But uh, you're a little bit more... Uh... Actually, I think it's because I'm out of range. But I'm pretty sure I can attack him anyway. This is basically just kind of recruiting a couple of units. Just seeing what's around. Zhao Kang is a very, very good unit, obviously. So 
we do want to grab him. Let's go ahead and save our game. So Yuan Shao's beating the crap out of him. Okay, can relieve him. So the way that this game works as well is that LEA doesn't affect how big your army is. You always have four slots. So you always have the commander, strategist, two generals. So it there's there's pros and cons to both systems, right? Like Yeah, pros and cons to both systems. Like on the on the one side it's it's a little bit disappointing because um you don't really see, like, a, you know, for instance, like, you know, so early game, you have X number, like, you have, like, 40 LEA, you have, like, a 6 or 7 unit army, and then by late game, you have these 9 or 10 slot armies. So there is quite a bit of progression there, but on the other hand, there is some advantages to, you know, you just have 8 slots, and that's just the way it is. I don't know. I don't know what I think about that. I think probably they did make some good adjustments, um... Okay, me who should be a known thing here. So grab me thing. Uh, we still have two turns. Wonderful. Leave you fan. Okay, I don't think there's anything else we can do this round, really. Yeah, no. Okay, so we'll recruit and then we will attack next round. So. Yeah. So in order to ally, you send a diplomat, I think, to just one of their units? Or do I have to go to their capital? No, I probably just one of their main units. So let's go ahead and save. Um, do that. All right. So, don't recruit me thing. So you see Cao Cao defeated Li Ji. All right. Let's go ahead and attack. So Chen Gui has shown up. So as you can see here, Chen Gui is a spy. So the cool thing about spies in this game is that if you have spies with you, you can actually add to your armies. So for instance, if I move a spy right here, we can have an extra army here. So it'd be like, there'd be one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you would also have the spy. And also the spy would also make a supply depot, which is always really nice. So honestly, there's obviously no downside to having a spy so i will be grabbing him he will be one of my core unit core core spy shall we say which will be nice um yeah let's go ahead and attack time for battle 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 time so hopefully we can recruit at least one unit here i think this is zheng liao geo shun uh, who else is here? Yeah, Zhang Liao, Gao Shun, and Song Yijian? No, Zhang Ba. Okay. So they do have some filler units. So as you can see here, to make it a little bit more fair, so they only have three actual units. They have Gao Shun, Zhang Ba, and uh, Zhang Liao. Um, they did fill with some footman units just to make it fair, which is, which is fine. It gives me more chances to use tactics and get more experience, so I'm not complaining. So we're going to go here because that unit can only go up four slots. Let's go ahead and just attack here. Ooh, 600 damage. That's actually pretty crazy. Nice. Okay. So next turn we are going to uh, try to set off a tactic chain here. So the question is, will Zhang Fei break hold of that? That that is kind of the question. But oh, he's no longer a strategist. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nice, okay. 
So let's go ahead and raid here. This will kill a footman, which is really good. At least I think it'll kill a footman. I guess we'll find out. That is actually a substantial amount of damage, especially for the early game. 6,000, yeah. We must not lose. So Liu Bei will get his ability, so he'll get hero, which is really good. Oh, repel, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, you're going the wrong direction. Okay, well. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Okay, revive, revive. Okay, that's just a lot of revives. Um... So you do have a lot more auto-attacking in this game because you have less uh, options. Could he repel into that? Uh, we'll just do this. Hmm, I say we just go ahead and set this off. Yeah, let's go ahead. Oh, I should have pursued there. What was I saying? Oh yeah, so you don't actually have... You you do have a lot more auto-attacking because of the fact that you, you don't get your tactics back. Like the whole... Like so if you do a four chain, not all four units will get your tactics back, like in the second game. So it does, it does make you have to strategize when you're going to use a tactic and when you're not. Only the unit that gets the killing blow actually gets... the, uh, the tactic. Let's go ahead and see if we can grab a tactic from here. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, okay, so... Okay, so aid. That's good. See, now, this would be really good. He's gonna move. Yeah, that's okay. Zhang Liao, obviously, very, very good unit. Um, we're going to see if we can exploit the AI there a real, real little bit and see if he just auto-attacks. Yeah, he just auto-attacks. Yeah, so he exploited the AI a little bit there. Um, so... See if I could... Oh, here we go. So we link that. Nice. That's super good. And then... Yeah. Wonderful. Now everybody's involved. We cannot lose. We must not lose. Wonderful. Oh. That went off a little bit too early. Oh, it was enough anyway. Leave it to me. Leave it to me. Wonderful. Fight as if you're fighting your way from hell. Nice. Capture Dao Shen. Capture Zhang Bob. Now, let's see if we can capture Zhang Liao. This might be a little bit difficult. I think I need to get a four chain. Yeah, I need to get a four chain here, which could be difficult because I do not have a lot of tactics left, as you can see. Honestly, it, it makes you have to think more about what you're doing, so actually, I do like that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and run away. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Um... Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Oh, I got a tactic. Nice, nice. Okay, we may as well just set this off, I feel like. Yeah, so this will actually be enough to capture, I think. I think we have a four chain here. So, pretty solid. Pretty solid early game. Certainly cannot complain. So, we captured all three of... Uh, Lu Bu's units, so that's really cool. Nice. 
So, again, a little bit immersion breaking because of the fact that, yeah, nobody has any loyalty, I guess, and just switches sides. Alright, we're fighting Lu Bu. Brotherhood. Nice. Okay, uh, is there someone who can grab Chin Gui? Oh, yeah, so as well, you see right here, Gong Sun Zan has lost, but look who's up here, Zhao Yun. So, that's very exciting. We're gonna go ahead and disband that army. We're going to make Liu Bei our envoy. And we're gonna go up there to Yuan Shao. So, I will have to reload my save if Liu Bei does get kicked out, because I don't think I have enough turns to try that multiple times, but uh, let's go ahead. Oh, I have uh, maybe too many options here. Honestly, Li Dian is still the best unit here. Interesting. Zhang Fei. Zhang King. So that army will go there. We will also, yeah, sure, we'll do the Zhang Liao army. Uh, yeah, Gao Shun we could take. So may as well use those units. Um, yeah, so who is friends with... Surely someone's friends with him, really? I think I get Chin Dang in a little bit here. That's probably what it is. Yeah, Leo Hawaii. Hawaii? Hawaii. Okay. So, we're making progress. Um, may as well take Blue Dragon off, because I think Blue Dragon makes it so that they're might, right? Yeah. So... Um, yeah, Gale shouldn't might, sure. feels so weird to have Lubu units while fighting Lubu, though. Alright, let's go ahead and save our game, because I don't know if I could actually play that better. How far are we in? We're 27 minutes. Okay, well, yeah, so, yeah, that, that'll be our first episode, so, yeah, hopefully we can 100% Dynasty Tactics 1. This is going to take a long time. There's quite a few different um, areas. Okay, so same deal as the first game. We're going to have to recruit. Okay, so I, I must have done a little bit of a Sao Sao campaign. But, uh, and a little bit of uh, Sun Sei. But, yeah. So we're going to do all 225 units. Hopefully there's not some weird ones that I will not be able to find. Because that will be very annoying. But, yeah. I don't know. I'm really excited. This is going to take a long time. But, at the same time, it's really nostalgic and really, really fun to just be playing this game again. Because... It's just a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. It's a very, very solid game. Despite maybe showing its age a little bit, they definitely improved the graphics quite a bit for the second game. Anyway, see ya. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you all next time. See you later. Bye.